Robert Francis Kennedy Jr., Democratic presidential candidate, does not know what he's talking about when it comes to vaccines. And you know we couldn't let it go. That's the topic of this week's healthcare triage. A couple weeks ago, Tiffany, our writer here at Healthcare Triage, was approached by a family member with some concerns. This family member had seen an interview with presidential candidate RFK Jr. innocently asking that vaccines be tested. The family member mentioned to Tiffany that this did not seem anti-vax, but simply a reasonable plea for safety. Cue Tiffany's head exploding, followed by a reasonably calm explanation of why this was anything but reasonable, followed by immediate work on this very episode. So let's begin with the specific claim we're here to address. RFK Jr. is claiming that scientists do not test vaccines with placebo-controlled trials, specifically against a saline placebo, and that all he's asking for is that they are tested this way as all other medicines are. On its face alone, that probably sounds like a reasonable argument. I, too, would like vaccines to be tested in a randomized controlled trial. And thankfully, they are. One of the specific and very inaccurate anti-vax arguments that RFK Jr. is perpetuating here is that vaccines have not been tested in placebo-controlled trials because the placebos used were not saline. They insist that it must be saline to meet a very basic definition of placebo, something that is completely inert and has no effect on living human beings. Again, this may sound reasonable, but that's because it's missing a whole lot of important context. To start with, many of the vaccines RFK Jr. and his supporters are referring to are not first-generation vaccines, meaning not the first vaccine ever available against the disease. Those vaccines, the very first ones to treat a given disease, will have been tested against a placebo control like saline. But the ones that come after it, that are changed in some way to improve safety, efficacy, or some other factor, absolutely cannot be tested against a saline placebo control because that's highly unethical. Instead, they must be tested against the existing version of the vaccine because putting a group of children who are at risk for a disease in a group that does not receive vaccination against that disease when a vaccine is available is a horrible thing to do. To drive this point home, let's talk about the first polio vaccine. Because it was the first one, there was no existing vaccine to test it against, which meant that the control group received an inactive placebo of salt water, the very thing RFK Jr. is requesting. The reason we know that the very first vaccine was effective is because 16 children in the placebo group died from polio. Of the 36 children paralyzed by polio in that trial, 34 of them were in the placebo group. That's gut-wrenching on its own. It's unconscionable to think of doing that to test an updated version of the vaccine where a standard one is already available. That is the reason that RFK Jr. can't find saline, placebo-controlled trial data for many of the vaccines to which he is referring. He does not explain any of this, of course. Perhaps he doesn't understand it himself, in which case he should not be talking about it so much. This isn't the only anti-vax argument behind this particular claim about testing vaccines, so you can trust that we'll be back soon to address other stuff, like crossover study designs. And we'll probably be back to talk about other false and frankly absurd claims that he has made in the vaccine and health realm. So, you know, stay tuned. Hey, did you enjoy this episode? You might enjoy this whole series we did, sponsored by the NIHCM on vaccines. We'd appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to the channel down below, and consider going to patreon.com slash healthcare triage, where you can help support the show to make it bigger and better. We'd especially like to thank our research associates, Joe Sevitz and Edward Lillaholm, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral, Sam. 